The Marvel Universe is a treasure trove of fascinating characters, ranging from world-saving heroes to universe-threatening villains. Among its vast roster are two beings of unparalleled power, Franklin Richards, the reality-warping mutant prodigy, and Null, the ancient god of the symbiotes and harbinger of darkness. If these two titans were to clash, their battle would undoubtedly shake the very fabric of existence. But who would emerge victorious? Let's explore their origins, abilities, and a hypothetical confrontation to determine the ultimate winner. Franklin Richards, the reality warping prodigy. Franklin Richards, the son of Reed Richards and Sue Storm of the Fantastic Four, is no ordinary child. A mutant of extraordinary potential, Franklin has been classified as an Omega-level mutant, one of the rarest and most powerful classifications in the Marvel Universe. His primary ability is reality manipulation, a power so vast that he can create and destroy entire universes at will. From a young age, Franklin displayed abilities far beyond comprehension. In one instance, he created a pocket universe to save the Fantastic Four when they were in mortal danger. His powers also extend to manipulating time, bending the laws of physics, and even resurrecting the dead. This extraordinary range of abilities has led to Franklin being recognized as a universal shaper, someone capable of reshaping reality itself. Beyond his reality-warping powers, Franklin is almost immortal and possesses an intellect rivaling that of his father, Mr. Fantastic. He has also formed alliances with cosmic entities, including Galactus, whom Franklin once turned into his herald. This feat alone speaks volumes about the scope of his power. However, Franklin's abilities are not without limitations. His powers sometimes fade or become inaccessible, leaving him vulnerable. This inconsistency could be a critical factor in a battle against a foe as relentless as Null. Null, the god of the symbionts. Null, an ancient and malevolent being, predates the Marvel Universe itself. He was born in the void that existed before creation and despises light and life. When the Celestials brought light to the void, Null retaliated, forging the all-black Necrosword, the first symbiote, to wage war against them. As the god of the symbiotes, Null wields immense power. He commands the Living Abyss, a primordial darkness he uses to create and control symbiotes. This connection to the symbiote hive mind gives Null dominion over countless symbiotic beings, allowing him to overwhelm planets and civilizations with his armies. Null's physical abilities are equally terrifying. He is nearly invulnerable, possesses superhuman strength, and can regenerate from almost any injury. His weapon, the all-black Necrosword, has the power to slay gods and cut through even the strongest defenses. Additionally, Null's manipulation of dark energy makes him a cosmic level threat. Despite his immense power, Null is not without weaknesses. His creations, the symbiotes, have shown the capacity to rebel against him when exposed to light or noble ideals. This rebellion represents a chink in his otherwise impenetrable armor, one that could be exploited by an opponent like Franklin Richards. The battle, light versus darkness. A confrontation between Franklin Richards and Null would be a spectacle of cosmic proportions. The skies would darken as Null descended upon Franklin, his symbiote dragons swarming like a black tide. Franklin, ever the protector, would rise to meet the challenge, wielding his full array of powers to defend existence itself. Null would initially have the advantage with his overwhelming forces and the sheer might of the all-black Necrosword. His hive mind connection would enable him to coordinate relentless attacks, forcing Franklin to fight on multiple fronts. However, Franklin's reality warping abilities would quickly turn the tide. He could disintegrate Null's symbiote army with a mere thought, trap Null in a pocket dimension, or even erase his dark energy from existence. But Null is no ordinary foe. His resilience and ability to manipulate the living abyss would make him a relentless adversary. Even if Franklin managed to incapacitate Null temporarily, the god of the symbiotes could regenerate and strike back with renewed fury. The all-black Necrosword, 
capable of harming even the most powerful cosmic beings, could pose a significant threat to Franklin, especially if Null exploited a moment of vulnerability. The psychological dimension of this battle would also play a crucial role. Null thrives on fear and chaos, but Franklin's hope and unyielding spirit could weaken his influence. Franklin's connection to his family and his role as a protector of life might inspire the symbiotes under Null's control to rebel, turning the tide of the battle. Conclusion. Who would win? Determining the winner of this epic clash is no simple task. Both Franklin Richards and Null are beings of immense power, each capable of reshaping the Marvel Universe in their own way. Franklin's ability to manipulate reality create universes, and align with cosmic entities like Galactus gives him a clear edge in versatility and potential. His light, hope, and unyielding determination would be a powerful counter to Null's darkness. However, Franklin's powers are not always reliable, and his moments of vulnerability could give Null the opening he needs to strike a decisive blow. Null's raw power, resilience, and mastery of the living abyss make him a near unstoppable force. His ability to wield the all-black necrosword and command a symbiotic army would test even Franklin's godlike abilities. But Null's inherent weaknesses, his reliance on fear and his susceptibility to rebellion within his hive mind could be exploited by Franklin's hope and determination. In the end, the outcome of this battle might depend on the circumstances. If Franklin were at his peak and fully prepared, his reality-warping abilities and moral fortitude could enable him to triumph. However, if Null caught Franklin off guard or during a period of weakened power, his primordial darkness could overwhelm even Franklin's immense strength. Ultimately, this clash of titans highlights the essence of Marvel's storytelling. A battle not just of power, but of ideals. It's a confrontation between light and darkness, hope and despair, creation and destruction. A timeless struggle that makes the Marvel Universe endlessly compelling. That said, a true victor might never be determined. Franklin represents boundless hope, potential, and the future, while Null embodies relentless darkness, chaos, and the void. These opposites are eternal, suggesting their battle would reflect an ongoing balance rather than a definitive outcome. Fans of the Marvel Universe might interpret the winner differently based on personal connections to these characters, emphasizing how diverse and nuanced Marvel's narratives can be. Check out my other videos for more epic character crossovers and battles. Thanks for watching, and stay happy and healthy.